We're with track coach Mike Heimerman, whose team has two outdoor competitions under its belt now, and this week has a busy slate over in Texas, with some athletes headed to the Texas Relays and others headed down the road to San Marcos and Texas State. Mike, let's talk about uh, the competition Saturday at Louisiana Tech. What really pleased you? Well, we had a very good meet uh, with our jumpers, some of our throwers, and, and uh, our sprinters, actually, overall, everybody did exactly what, where we're kind of wanting to be at right now. Uh, we're a little bit uh, different from all the other sports where, you know, we, we use all these meets for training. Uh, you know, it's good. We like to go in and win a lot of these events or do well at all these uh, competitions, but we gear everything up for our outdoor conference meet or if we're indoor, our indoor conference meet. Uh, so look, we're in a big, heavy training cycle right now, and to see some of the kids do as well as they did was very, very exciting. Uh, Portia Thomas uh, set another PR in the triple jump. Uh, as a sophomore, our freshman, uh, Taylor Walker, was right behind her with another personal best. Uh, our hammer throwers, uh, Rochelle Bessard and uh, Keona Jackson, both had uh, personal bests in the uh, hammer throw, and they had to come back, and uh, they, they all had a second event or third event. So it was a long day. It was uh, you know, nice weather. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. So it, it was very pleasing. Our 4x1 had a very good, uh, men's 4x1 had a very good day. First time that those four have ran together. And we had a few handoff uh, problems, but we still ran a very quick time. Uh, actually, probably one of our faster times, even with our All-American team last year at this point. So it was a bunch of, saw a very, you know, a bunch of uh, great things. All right, looking ahead to this week, uh, how do you manage athletes in two different locations, about an hour apart, a little less, uh, Texas Relays in Austin and the Texas State Meet in well, San Marcos? Tec with Texas Relays, you have to qualify for the uh, – all the field events you have to qualify and some of the running events you have to qualify. Uh, so not all of our field event uh, kids made it in, so it's nice to have a meet that's uh, what they kind of an overflow meet in Texas State, which is only you know about 45 minutes south of uh, Austin and San Marcos. So we'll have, uh, of course, our bus, and then we'll have a van that we'll do a lot of shuttling with. Uh, but mostly, you know, all of our, our relays made it in, and we'll have a couple coaches that stay there, and we'll have a couple coaches that will work with the shuttling and uh, stay on top of the kids that are in the uh, San Marcos meet. Uh, but, you know, we're just all about right now we're just trying to get them some more opportunities because, uh, you know, practice, we, we can be very, very uh, good in practice, and when we get to the meet, sometimes the pressure gets to us. And so we like to get to a couple of uh, high-key or uh, big-time meets because uh, even the overflow meet, you get a lot of kids from UCLA, Arkansas or the Florida's that will throw or jump or run at that meet just because they couldn't get all, everybody in at the uh, relays. All right, the guys and ladies at the Texas relays obviously competing on one of the great stages in collegiate track and field. Yeah, it, it is pretty neat uh, for some of the kids that have never been there or, or some of our uh, viewers that have never been there. Uh, it's, you know, it's a 30, 30 to 35,000 seat stadium. It's also their soccer stadium, but uh, it is completely sold out on Saturday and parts of Friday. Well, they'll be probably around 40 to 45,000 people there between athletes and spectators. So it gets quite loud, and uh, it's just neat. Sometimes it's uh, more of a, a spectacle than, than a track meet, but it's still you know, part of it. And uh, we have a lot of kids from the Texas area, and so we've recruited over there, and that's part of the thing that uh, they like going back over to that meet because that's where they went in high school. So it, it is a nice atmosphere, and you know, there's a lot of people who do get to see track at that meet, and it's nice to, that these kids get to run in front of uh, such a big group. And Northwestern does have a very impressive tradition of success in the Texas Relay. Yeah, our relays have gone over there in the past and done very, very well. A few years ago, we were back-to-back uh, -back champs in the 4x4 four four, uh, with, a, with a very talented group. And we have a very talented group this year. Uh, so sometimes they don't see it all the time, but us coaches, we see it. Uh, we have a very good 4x1 that can go over there and do some damage, uh, both on the men, our women's side. Uh, we have a, a couple relays that can go over there and do well. We have some individual events that can do well. Uh, one of the uh, young ladies I didn't talk about too much was Consuela Lindsay. You know, she's right now, she's, she's on pace to do some great things in the 400 intermediate hurdles. Uh, she has our school record, and she's ran two very, very good times right now, uh, right at 59 to 60 flat, and her uh, PR is 58 mid, 58, 63, or 64, I think. I think she's going to just completely crush that this year. So it's, this might be one of those times where she gets on that bigger stage and have uh, some little bit more competition, and uh, she, she's going to shine, I think. Yeah, I'd be remiss if I didn't get you to talk about our cameraman here today, Gerard Charles. Gerard Charles. You know, Gerard, he's done a very good job. Uh, up until this past weekend, I thought he'd changed 100% on 
he's been a little fragile over the years uh, with his hamstrings. And maybe just us thinking that, we, we put a little hex on him because uh, he uh, tweaked his hamstring a little bit this weekend in the, uh, on the 4x4. Four four. But he's done a very good job this year. He's uh, quite become the utility sprinter because I don't think he'd ever imagine that he'd be on the 4x1. And now he's uh, third leg of the 4x1 trying to hand off to one of the fastest kids in the nation, which is Justin Walker, which is a little tough because even Coach Leith uh, was talking about the other day, he doesn't know if he'd even want to try to you know, hand off to someone that, that fast. And Gerard does a great job. Gerard stays healthy. He'll be a part of uh, some really good relays, and he'll be pretty dominant in that 400 if he uh, puts his mind to it. And he's doing a whale of a job as a cameraman. Uh, you know, uh, there's been a lot of good people that's worked in this place that's gone on to big things.